In this video, we're going to practice writing sets in the set builder form. So here are a few answers and I want you to write the questions for these answers. I want you to write these sets in the set builder form. Pause the video, take a few minutes. Okay, so let's do this together. Before we do that, a quick recap. What's the set builder method? Well, this is when you write the question. Suppose you want to write all positive integers less than six. This is how we write it in the roster form, one, two, three, four, and five, within brackets and separated by commas. But the way to write this in the set builder method is to figure out what these elements are doing. What are the rules that they're satisfying? So we're looking for the elements that are positive integers and that are less than six. So if we assume that the element is x, x belongs to the set of positive integers and x is less than six. In math, this is how you write it. x such that x belongs to natural numbers and x is less than six. This is the symbol for such that. And the way to bring this all together is have brackets and within that you have x. So we're looking for all x such that x belongs to natural numbers and x is less than six. So x is satisfying these two rules together. This is your set builder method. Brackets, comma, such that. We have to use all three. Okay, so with this recap, let's go back to our answers and start writing the questions. Let's look at the first one. Three, six, nine, and 12. What do they have in common? Well, they're all multiples of three. In fact, they are the first four multiples of three. So we're looking for all x such that x is a multiple of three, which is x equals to three n. And this n, because we're looking for first four multiples, this n is less than or equal to four. n can only take these four values. Also, n is a natural number. So we have these three rules that we're satisfying together. x equals to three n, n can only take natural number values. So n can be one, two, three, four, and so on. But we're also restricting it. We're saying n has to be less than or equal to four. So this means we're taking the first four values. This is how you do it. Let's look at the next one. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. These are the first five powers of two. Two to the power one is two, two square is four, two cube is eight, two to the power four is 16, and two to the power five is 32. So how do we write this? Well, for multiples, we use times, three times n. For powers, we'll use two to the power n. So we're looking for all x such that x is equals to two to the power n. Here, n can take the first five values. So let's restrict that n is less than or equal to 5 and let's make sure that n is a natural number so n belongs to natural numbers this is how you write this in the set builder form the next one we have 5 25 125 and 625 these are the first four powers of 5 it's very similar to the previous one we're looking for x such that x equals to 5 to the power n where n is less than or equal to 4 and n belongs to natural numbers next one we have two, four, six, and so on. So we have these even numbers. In fact, we have all even numbers. We have even natural numbers. And the way to do this is we're looking for all x, where x equals to 2n. We're looking for multiples of 2. So that's why we're using 2n. Here, n belongs to natural numbers, and there's no cap. We're not restricting n. We're saying let's take all natural numbers. This is how you get the list that never ends. Then we have one, four, nine, and so on up to 100. This is an answer to which question? Well, these are all perfect squares. One square, two square, three square, so on up to 10 square. So we're looking for first 10 perfect squares. First 10 perfect squares. How do we do this? We're looking for all x such that x is a perfect square. x is equals to n square. Here n is a natural number, so n belongs to natural numbers. And we have to restrict n because we're only looking for the first 10 values. So n is less than or equal to 10. All right, the last one, half, two third, three fourth, four fifth, five sixth, six seventh. What's the pattern here? Here, the denominator is one more than the numerator and we're taking these six numerators. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is what we can do here. We're looking for all x such that x is in the form n by n plus one. So we have taken the numerators as n, the denominators automatically become n plus one. So this is the form that we're looking for. And what are the values that n can take? n can take these six values, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So n is less than or equal to six. But to make sure that n takes only these six values, 
we'll have to restrict n to natural numbers so n belongs to natural numbers if we don't take n as natural numbers and we only take n is less than or equal to 6 and can also take values like 5.5 2.3 and so on because we only want natural numbers we have to mention that as well well this was a good practice if you want more such problems you can visit khan academy